Hey guys, what's up? It's the Snake Dude eighteen fourteen here, and in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up a Dubia Roach colony. You guys know I've had a Dubia Roach colony breeding for about three years now. It feeds a lot of my lizards, the bearded dragon and the Chinese water dragon, especially who relish insects. And with a growing colony, I usually have to clean it out about once a year. So I figured it's about time to clean it out, and why not film a video on how to set it back up? The reason I'm filming this, obviously, is to help you guys who want to start a Dubia colony, and overall, it'll just make it easier on your part by watching how I do it, because I have been successful with it. So, to start off the setup, what I'm doing is I'm taking a bunch of egg crates, and I'm actually cutting holes along the areas where they point outwards on the bottom. Pretty much my ideology behind this is that it'll allow the roaches to move more freely in between allowing them to smell food easier when it's presented and it also allows them to have quicker access to various temperature differences I definitely feel this is important for dubia roaches because in order for them to breed you need heat and obviously as you can see here this is the final product to give you an idea on how I cut my egg crates for the dubia colony if there's one thing that I cannot stress enough when it comes to working with your roach colony, you need to remember that people can easily become allergic with constant exposure to their frass or fecal matter. So what I always do whenever I have to do a deep clean is I have a face mask on so I'm not ingesting any of the powder from the cleaning of the bin, as well as a mask over my eyes just to prevent any of that dust getting in my face, and I also use gloves on my hands to make sure that I stay as clean as possible. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start a time lapse, and let's clean out this roach bin and get set. Okay guys, so after that time lapse, I cleaned out all of the dead and excess roaches. I still keep the frass in because they like to burrow in it, and the baby roaches will eat that as food. So I try not to clean all of it out, but I keep just enough so that there's a thin layer covering the bottom for the baby roaches. Any extra adult roaches or roaches in general I have in here, so this is my colony pretty much give or take a couple hundred babies that are in there that I couldn't grab and now we got our egg crates as you guys know I poked holes in all the egg crates and what this does is when I lie them flat it allows roaches to move up and down some people keep their egg crates sideways I prefer it flat so that way frass will collect in these and the babies will eat that making more pockets for reproduction so simply Place one flat there, place another flat here, and it is meant to overlap guys, that way it's one solid layer. And then I lie them the opposite direction, this way. As you can see, they stack nice and easily. And then for our third layer on top, we'll add this. And I do have a heat mat running all the way along the bottom, guys. And then, you know, maybe what I'll do is I'll stack this. Oh no, it's probably going to be there we go I had an extra egg thing so I'm just going to set that like that so they can hide in there they're uh you know I'll put the food in water after I dump them in so moment of truth my entire dubia that I could grab. There's still some on the bottom. 
Let's get him in. There you have it, guys. That is how you get a doobie colony set up. Nice and easy. It's a great method. They'll be able to move up and down and so forth. They're going to be really stressed, so I'll add food and water later. For now, though, let's get the lid on. There you have it. So overall, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Dubia roaches are for sure an excellent, excellent feeder insect. So that is how you set up a tub. I do have an older video where I do discuss care tips. I'll leave a tag right now for it. And until then, guys, this has been the Snake Dude 1814, and I will see y'all in the next video. Adios.